topic is wellness and nutrition, and we're talking to Ms. Rankin and Ms. McIndoo, and of course, ladies, uh, we promised uh, that we'd give you an opportunity during the second segment to uh, talk about wellness and some of the mm -hmm. problems that are associated with wellness and some of the cures that might be associated. Let's start off by having you to uh, deal with that, um, uh, Ms. Rankin. Well, Dr. Cheney, we really talked a lot about the problem, and I think your listening audience would agree that there is a problem, and it's really not in this country, it is globally. Mm -hmm. And then you, when you address the problem and identify what it is and what is the solution, that's really where we need to go in our process. And the solution is, uh, do, uh, according to the World Health Organization, the five-a-day campaign is fruits and vegetables. And I guess the question we need to ask ourselves is, what can we do or how did we get to be in such a mess uh, in this country if we don't even go anywhere else? But uh, People don't always understand it's the food, the good food. What are the good foods that they need to eat? What are the bad foods that they are eating? Maybe they don't understand really that it is about exercise. It is about getting good exercise. It's about drinking water. And uh, I could take each one of these points and probably do an hour, hour seminar on every one of them. But one of the things that we teach people even on, on the level of drinking water is like a lot of times people are hungry, they feel hungry. If they just drank water, that's their body telling them mm -hmm. they're thirsty. Mm -hmm. So we don't get enough water. Of course, certainly our stressful lifestyles have mm -hmm. created a lot of the, mm -hmm. the problems that we see. Uh, one of the, uh, the, in fact, the World Health Organizations, and this year, mm -hmm. uh, in January in Berlin, Germany, uh, there was a gathering of the World Health Organizations mm -hmm. that came together to focus on what the five-a-day, and I'll just hold this up, mm -hmm. the five-a-day campaign is doing to educate and spread the word about the importance of five to nine mm -hmm. servings of fresh raw fruits and vegetables mm -hmm. every day mm -hmm. not just once a week or when you feel right. like mm -hmm. it but we're talking every day mm -hmm. and when I ask people if you didn't do it today what are you going to do tomorrow to make up for mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. wow. but five to nine servings and that's a variety too that's just not I'm going to eat a couple things that I like but that's a wide mm -hmm. variety mm -hmm. And uh, that is the key piece, is the getting more fruits and vegetables. And I'll, I'll just cite this, that the government, our mm -hmm. government, the U.S. Mm -hmm. government, has now since 1970 or since the 70s has spent mm -hmm. literally billions of dollars mm -hmm. to find the cure for heart disease, stroke, and cancer. Mm -hmm. Their conclusion, it is easier to prevent than it is to cure. cure. Mm -hmm. You know, I almost have to say that again because mm -hmm. it's, you almost mm -hmm. want to make you laugh. Mm -hmm. It's easier to prevent than it is to cure. Mm -hmm. My comment is you could have asked somebody's mm -hmm. mom, they would have told mm -hmm. you, eat your fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. Right. Think about when we were growing up, what right. were we told? Mm -hmm. an, an apple a day but, keeps but, the but, doctor but, away. But about fruit and vegetables, uh, how do you eat them uh, in a consistent manner? And, uh, <laughs> you know, because I, uh, I think the last time that I had an apple personally or had any fruit uh, personally might have been a couple of days ago. Uh -oh. and so, right. You know, you, so you, you're so, already so behind. You're, well, you're behind. That's the How do you do that? That's the thing about it. And, and the key is I go back to the raw mm -hmm. because uh, there are enzymes in the raw fruits and vegetables that help us to break down the rest of our food. Mm -hmm. And when you cook those, then those enzymes cook out and the nutrients cook out. So they really need to be raw. And fruits and vegetables are like a doctor within. They have, they have nutrients in them. And these nutrients make up the colors that are in the fruits and vegetables. And that's what makes a tomato red, or an orange orange, or a green bean green. And these nutrients act like a doctor within. And what they do is they help to eat up germs. They act like little Pac-Men. Mm -hmm. And they eat up the germs that are in our body. Mm -hmm. And they eat up the cancer cells and the things that are harmful to us. Mm -hmm. So when we get our fruits and vegetables, good nutrition, good fruits and vegetables are like a doctor within. Mm -hmm. So, and it is hard, mm -hmm. especially for families that are on the go. And that's why I think we're confused as to what is good nutrition. Mm -hmm. You know, we think running through a fast food, you know, is mm -hmm. good nutrition. You know, at least they're eating something. And, and we're just confused. We've gotten so far away from what we should be doing. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of happened in a gradual kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But uh, fruits and vegetables, getting back to that. And it is hard. Mm -hmm. Like you said, it's hard to do that. It's hard to get what we need every day. And it's just like your car. Mm -hmm. If you put less than than good gas in your car, you're going to get binging, you're going to get pinging, 
your your car is not it may jump a little bit it may not drive as fast or as as optimal as you would like for it to and so that's kind of what happens with our bodies when we're not getting that on an mm -hmm. everyday consistent basis our bodies are going to start getting sluggish and mm -hmm. we're going to start seeing the problems associated mm -hmm. with not feeding our engines good Correct. things good yeah. you know uh, Ms. Rankin, if this could become the uh, mindset of uh, the uh, government in the state of Tennessee. Do you think that this would have any real impact upon, uh, and of course not immediate impact, I think what we have millions and millions of dollars uh, under budget and, and et cetera, but uh, by what, what, what impact do you think something like this would have in terms of the five uh, five a day a kind campaign. of thing? Well, would that have any impact well, on obviously ten it care? Well, absolutely have a huge impact on several levels, and already we're seeing around the country mm -hmm. Uh, where uh, the school districts are mm -hmm. taking a proactive stance and feeding their children better lunches at, at school, mm -hmm. you right. know, a whole, a whole lunch versus maybe some of the mm -hmm. fast food things, and they're seeing improved behavior. They're mm -hmm. seeing improved learning, mm -hmm. even as, you know, even as just within the last couple of years, we're seeing improvement there. Mm -hmm. right. We all know it's important. I think most of us at this point would agree that it's important to, important to eat your five to nine servings. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's hard to do. Mm -hmm. um, on the humorous side, uh, I go to the grocery store, I buy a wide variety of fruits and vegetables, mm -hmm. I bring it home, put it in the refrigerator and go like, I got it, I'm so <laughs> proud of myself. But then, you know, you go back a, a day later, a week later, you didn't eat it for some mm -hmm. reason, and you mm -hmm. pull out those bags, what was that mm -hmm. stuff? Mm -hmm. right. And I think most people would agree. Mm -hmm. There is a way, and that's what's exciting and why mm -hmm. we're excited. There is something. Mm -hmm. We do have a product that is being now available that we work with called Juice Plus mm -hmm. that uh, really bridges the gap. And mm -hmm. we're not about saying you just take a pill. We're talking whole food nutrition here, mm -hmm. but we want people to eat their fruits mm -hmm. and vegetables. Mm -hmm. But for those who will not or cannot, there is mm -hmm. a way. Okay, and I'll tell you what we'll do. Uh, we're getting ready for this this uh, second commercial break, Ms. Rankin and Ms. McIndoo. And what we'll do, we'll give you an opportunity to talk about this uh, miracle juice plus that you, that you uh, <laughs> it's talk God's about. It's God's miracle. It, it, it does appear to be <laughs> right. uh, something of a miracle, and, and, and we want you to uh, give our audience as much uh, information as you care to give them uh, right. during this last segment. And of course, uh, we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short uh, commercial break. I can do and Miss Rankin.